Hello everyone, welcome back to my bedroom. Excuse my get up, I am in my pyjamas, but there is a reason. I have was calling it quits for tonight, but um, the Real Ayo Guide has just done his 400th review and he's got a really special, special beer and I thought I should review it too. It's this, the Smuggler's Grand Crew. It's pretty special, it's 11.5% from Austell. So we've got, uh, from St. Austell, sorry. Got the glass here. So I'm going to pour myself some. And then give the bottle back to go and get it sealed. Nice and quick. <laughs> Another big head. Look at the colour on that. Just a, he's waiting to take it. Just a couple of details on here, I, I'll do a quick lowdown. Smuggler's Grand Crew is brewed for strength and is aged for a minimum of nine months in whiskey casks sent to Corn Cornwall, especially for this purpose, from the Tromintual Distillery in Perthshire, Scotland. The ageing process adds comple complexity to the beer with hints of smooth oaky vanilla toffee and spirit underpinning the notes of sweet and spicy forest fruits derived from a base beer. Whew, there's a lot going on. Finally to finish the beer uh, <laughs> finally to finish the beer is bottled using a, using the method champ oh, I can't even pronounce Champagne. it. Champagne <laughs> Yeah, yeah but you can not say Champagne, cham, champagne noise at the Camel Valley Vineyard in Cornwall. The unique qualities of the Smuggler's Grand Cru were recently recognised when it was awarded the gold medal in the speciality beer category at the London Quality Drinks Award 2011. So there you have it. You can just see there that it's been... Bottle 581. It's bottle number 581. Bottle number 581, and Very it's 11.5, so let's just add a little bit more. Look at the lovely green bottle. Ah, I was just going to mention that while you're pouring. All you really, it looks nice though, don't it? All you um, experienced beer drinkers out there, don't worry about the green glass. This is not a hoppy beer at all, is it? It's very no. dark, um, it's, it's very whiskey-ish very malty so it's not going to get affected by the hop so nice so, creamy head don't worry about the green glass yeah. i'm off bye <laughs> bye it's really um it's not clear at all it's very murky in size and nice um kind of a weak head but a nice creamy color so on the back cornish born and brick Born and brewed. <laughs> That's good. Should we give it a try then? Whoa. Wow we The whiskey notes are massive. God blimey. Now I'm gonna be completely honest. This is gonna be hard for me to drink. This is not my style. Um, I find it really hard to drink any whiskey and this obviously being matured for nine months in those barrels although the whiskey is not there they still it's still um, the flavours on the old oak come out massively so yeah this isn't a beer that I would normally drink but I'm going to tell you what's good about this beer You kind of get the um, the vanilla, actually. It's probably the second largest flavour that I, I'm picking up. So it's quite sweet at the same time. Um, oh, it's so hard for me. I do apologise. It's such a shame, really, because... This is a beer that I wouldn't normally come across, so I'm privileged to be reviewing it. But the the whiskey whiskey casks 
I do find hard to, to, to drink and enjoy. But if you like them, if you particularly like them, oh, it's really nice and warming on my, my throat and my mouth, my tongue. I quite like that, actually. Yeah, if, if, if this kind of beer is what you like, then I imagine this is kind of like the daddy of them all. It's a really, really nice beer. And it's strange, actually, because although the whiskey flavour is quite strong, it's not actually alcoholy at the same time. That's, that's, I don't think that makes sense, but it's not boozy. It's not like, it's more of, oh gosh, can it be? If it's whiskey and it's not boozy, can that, is that right? I don't know if I'm talking right now, but to me, the flavour of the whiskey is strong, but it's been matured for so long, but it's not a kind of alcoholic burn. That's it. There's not the alcoholic burn to it. Pardon me. Again, I'm sounding contradictory again, aren't I? Because I did say it's warming, but it's not the same. Alcoholy and, and warming aren't the same to me. Oh, pardon me. Cool. Get me burping. So, I'm going to have to stop. I can't do that. The flavours are there. We've got the vanilla and the hint of the toffee. Yeah, definitely. And the sweetness of it. And and I just find for me the whiskey notes are a wee bit too strong. So I'm gonna end that now. Yeah, thanks for joining me in my PJs in my bedroom. Um it's the phone. I shall silent it. <laughs> Typical, never mind. Yeah, but everyone, thank you all for joining me and um, hope to see you all here again soon. Cheers.